everybody and welcome back to the house of a warrior <laughs> <laughs> guys vera is back yes 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 <laughs> first of all thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another video thank you for subscribing for liking for watching my videos i post new videos every mondays, mondays wednesdays, wednesdays and fridays. fridays and my videos are mainly around sickle cell motherhood mm -hmm. cooking all that nice jazz that you do in the house um, so if you like that kind of content please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check us out and let's fill this house up yeah let's fill this house <laughs> up but for today Vera is back mm -hmm. and I thought we would have another conversation yeah. and today uh, we want to talk about life as a warrior after having your baby yeah after pregnancy yes but mainly after your baby is here okay yes. i've told you a little bit about my pregnancy journey vera told you a tiny bit when we did the sister tag sister tag yeah about how she spent her whole pregnancy in hospital mm -hmm. with trevor but now we've had our babies and we're back home and that is where the journey begins like i in my opinion that was even more difficult than the pregnancy itself mm -hmm. what yeah. do you think yeah, so like we have some really juicy stories about mm, that. So, so stick, stick around. around. <laughs> anyway, okay. first of all, yeah. when I had uh, Imari, mm -hmm. I went immediately into a crisis at Kenyatta. I don't know if you remember yes. at Kenyatta, and then the week after was my birthday. Yeah, so like Imari and I are born seven days apart, like you already know, and. I had him on a Sunday. I remember that Sunday. I had him on a Sunday and immediately I got out of the theater. I went into a crisis and Imari was a preemie. So they took him to the, what is it called? Incubator. Incubator, but what is that room for kids? A uh, newborn unit. Newborn unit in Kenyatta. <laughs> and if you know where the Kenyatta newborn unit mm -hmm. is, it's upstairs, upstairs, away from the where the women are kept. What is this other word for women? Uh, mat maternity, maternity ward. ward. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's upstairs, and in Kenyatta, no one cares about you. No one. No one. So you have to like drag after yourself every upstairs three after hours. every three hours. Yeah. I know. You have to drag your ass. <laughs> Sorry, you have to drag yourself upstairs to go check on your child. Mm -hmm. And Maku, I was in a crisis. I had my feet were swollen. swollen. Everything was just working against me. We were so broke. I remember my husband this did not have a job at the moment. Yeah. So all I did was depend on Kenyatta food, and that food was horrible. Vera couldn't come every day, but no. on the days that she came, you brought food. Yes. And I remember I always look forward to, to her visits because of the food. Mm. I was just like, when are you coming? I Where have you reached? Time. Like, is there traffic? <laughs> like, please just get here. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, after now, we got discharged. Like, being in hospital was shenanigan. You know, and we were there for like two weeks, I think. Yeah, Imari was in the incubator for two weeks. Mm. That was drama and i'm in kenyatta the toilets are bad i was in the general yeah. ward the toilets are dirty horrible and then to add on to that you have to walk all the way two flights of stairs to go check on your child yeah, every child. three two hours i think two hours. yeah but now we went home i have a jobless husband <laughs> yeah <laughs> no. not 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 kobaya mm -hmm. but it's the truth it's the truth yeah and life was just difficult from the get-go. First of all, I didn't have any milk supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had to depend on formula. Formula is expensive. That time it was 1900. 1900 a bottle, mm -hmm. which Imari used to drink in four days. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a can he used to drink in four days. Yeah, of course we supplemented with a little breast milk. Like it was mm. very little, like droplets. You know, the one that you just give him to clear his throat, his palate, mm. to prepare for the formula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the real appetite. Yeah, to appetize <laughs> himself. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. But life was difficult in the financial aspect, like let alone the sickle cell. Mm. Before you even add on to the sickle cell struggles, the financial aspect was really, really difficult. Yeah. So, like, even. 
getting food. Thank God for my family. My aunt used to send sugar and uh, porridge flour yeah. and all these nice things all the way from Mumias to us. You know, my sister stood in the gap for us, Tanya. She used to be the one who bought the formula. Yes. Yeah, my husband's family stepped in here and there, you know. All these people made it a bit easier financially. But for me, mm -hmm. hey, hey, being a warrior, eh, you're not first of all you're not eating good diet yeah. and you have a child who's suckling all the nutrients out of your body literally. And uh, we did not have health insurance at the moment mm -hmm. because Ben did not have a job. And uh, medication coming um, in contact with hydroxyurea was an extreme spot. Wow. Like, <laughs> where? <laughs> Leave alone hydroxyurea. Hydroxyurea is expensive. Like, we can understand that. Folic acid, which is one, one more. Shilling. You guys, mm -hmm. if I tell you the struggle, how expensive sickle cell is, like, let alone the drugs, even the diet, what you have to eat is expensive. It's expensive. It's, ex it's a very expensive <laughs> disease, yeah. yeah? And then now you have a child who is dependent on you, like, 100%. This is a child who is not even a month old mm -mm. so you're you're his everything mm -hmm. you're everything for this child yeah but anyway we are here to talk about the sickle cell aspect of of the after after care yeah. men <laughs> you tell us about yours yeah with trevor i remember with uh, trevor was also really difficult yeah yeah difficult. after you had him mm -hmm. despite having but, spent <clears throat> the whole pregnancy in hospital yeah yeah after i gave birth i thought my child would go to nbu mm -hmm. yeah, new born new born mm -hmm. but he didn't he had enough weight uh, the doctor told me that he can now do good outside mm -hmm. outside of the nbu not being taken care of so we we just went home yeah after reaching home, you know, <laughs> should I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> should you what? I, Lorraine, after reaching home, we we, we used to live uh, in Saika. If you know Saika is near to Moja. Yeah, that side of Dandora. You have to go. If you take Matatu in, at Hamza stage, mm -hmm. you take 36, it takes you to Saika. Oh. going to Dandora. So those places were somehow not developed. Yeah. The shops are very far. You have to go from here to let's say a long distance. Uh -huh. To look for something like milk, to look for something diapers. like diapers. Yeah, so it wasn't that easy. Mm -hmm. So after we went home, the struggle came real. We had to every day my son's father, who was doing some little works here and there, so he had to come every day with milk and every day with diapers. You know, we didn't used to get the big pack diaper because life was yeah, hard. You just left it yeah. from day to day, because like a small piece of nine pieces. Uh, and you know, with a newborn, uh -huh. that is, you use that in one day. Yeah, it's a, one day because he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you understand? <laughs> so that was, and then after suckling him, mm -hmm. you know me, I didn't suckle my son for long because I didn't have supply. Know, yeah. Supply. So I started my son on porridge. So he on the, he, after he nini. After he stopped, after he stopped the milk, he started porridge at how many months? Like three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, because he was not good getting enough food. enough food. So I had to put some porridge and some milk mm -hmm. with blue band so that he could yeah. get full. Don't do this at home. Yeah. It is not recommended. It is not advisable. It is not three months. Do it's not do that. Very small. Mm -hmm. So. That's how we <laughs> that survival. Yeah. And yeah, uh, but um what I'm asking is in regards to your sickle cell uh -huh. and having a newborn. Uh -huh. Like how difficult or how easier was it? I a newborn with sickle cell is very difficult. difficult. Huh? You 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 have to have enough food. 
-hmm. in the house first of all you have to have for you yeah, yeah to keep your immune system uh -huh. up yeah. fruits you have to eat like watermelon you have to eat lots of it so that you, you you're you, always yeah. hydrated you yeah. gain that water in your body so me for it's very hard huh? with the newborn that's why <laughs> no more children no more children for me <laughs> No more children for me, I think. Uh, okay, so me have had two kids. Hey. So now with um sorry, I'm looking at Alani. Okay. With Alani, I remember life had already become easier. Mm, yeah. Yeah, like a bit more comfortable. Uh, we had insurance, I had Alani at Coptic mm -hmm. um, hospital. But uh, before I left the hospital, my wound opened, hmm. opened up. Um, it wasn't healing, it was oozing. My yeah. doctor tried everything they could. I was put on some some medication, but um, that was the beginning of my problems with uh, Alani, with Alani's after delivery. That yes. was my the beginning of my problems because after that, everything just went downhill. Mm -hmm. So with the infections that I used to get on my wound and that caused crisis after crisis after crisis but thank god we used to live in dot home and my sister was just near us mm -hmm. yeah and uh she had already moved out of that other place she's mentioned so now she was near me and i we did not have I'd, i've never had a house help with any of my kids mm -hmm. when they were younger so my sister was the only one who used to come in oh yeah and my cousin mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah always always by my side my sister and that cousin of mine always <laughs> by my side so i had the two of them but i was always sick mm -hmm. with alani i was always sick because of my wound i used to get a lot of infections which led to a lot of crisis attacks mm -hmm. yeah and Alani started on formula also immediately, like sooner than even Imari did. Yeah, because I was never home with her yeah. to take care of her myself. Um, I was in the hospital because sick also. <laughs> does that to you? <laughs> yeah, Without so, warning. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, I can only imagine maybe it would have been a bit better if my scar did not develop any problems. But still, even what I went through with Imari, um, if that was to have repeated itself, you know, it's still the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with sickle cell, it's either this or that. But you will still have issues mm -hmm. and complications and a hard time you know even when you've already struggled through the pregnancy and now you have your child and you think that ah finally, finally it's time it's to over. enjoy hey. you know it's time to enjoy <laughs> my child and and be in this space of happiness and joy every day and just watch her grow no mm -mm. Like yeah. sis, no, you will not. <laughs> yeah. You are You're, starting your journey. You are starting now another another chapter. struggle, another mm. chapter, yeah. another difficult which is even more difficult than the pregnancy itself, let me tell you. It is more difficult. Imagine being in pain. Yeah. Like pain pain our daily normal chronic pain but then your child still has you have to carry yes. her and suckle her because or change she her needs attention. and bath her mm -hmm. because she's a baby she cannot do anything for herself mm -hmm. yeah so at least when it was in your tummy yeah. you know mm -hmm. you will turn around and toss around mm -hmm. but you she is in there with you you know they are treating you around her but then now even when you're in the hospital with a crisis and you've left your child who is one month at home mm. you can't even get better because no. you're constantly thinking about oh, your yeah. child yeah. yeah you're constantly thinking oh my god you know have they fed her is she yeah. crying mm. is, um, she clean? is she clean is, is she, she uncomfortable warm? is she warm all these things are running through your mind you know mm. so you can't you're not even in this place to get yourself better yeah mm. so um in my experience and uh, an experience I don't want another one off ever. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't ever, ever, ever. I don't never, never again. Mm -hmm. I just feel like at least you know, sickle cell should just have a little mercy on us. Like okay. kidogo. Yeah, I will take a bad pregnancy and a bad delivery, yeah. but have a good time with my child when she's here or he's here. Mm -hmm. You know, like let's compromise. Come on, okay. sickle cell. Like be nice. <laughs> like 
in your last video you said that you negotiate yeah <laughs> yeah oh, it's, it's like let's <laughs> negotiate like let's come to a compromise uh, you know like the <laughs> set limit this is life everything is is negotiable and assuming, you know yeah you, you, you can't just be always tough on tough people on people mm -hmm. no, you don't give them a break you don't give us a break for nothing mm -hmm. like it's not fair yeah yeah but anyway we made it uh, our kids are nine nine six and three yes. can you imagine <laughs> how far we've come <laughs> nine six and three we are past the the newborn age the toddler age we are now young adults yes. you know yes. and we are growing and thriving every day and we thank god yeah yeah although you guys the journey has been long and rocky and sunny and rainy and all the and cloudy and <laughs> All the harsh disasters that you can think about, <laughs> we have been through. Exactly. <laughs> all the harsh disasters, I swear, all the harsh disasters we have been through with these children. Yeah. Yeah. We only thank God that none of them is a sickler. sickler. Yeah. Yes, they have the traits, but, but not, not, no, they're not sufferers. Mm. But anyway, that's <gasps> about it. Uh, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please come up, come back again another time. Uh, please give this video a like because like, Vera is comment. here. And a comment. Like, and subscribe. And subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's free. It's free. Yeah, please yeah. subscribe and join the family. Let's fill this house up. And we'll see you next time. We'll see that in the next video. In the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.